State of the Union addresses can be a type of partisan Pilates for some. For others, it can be a direct ticket to becoming an internet meme. Behind many of these reactions is a careful calculation, and we break it down. You won't find many Democrats jumping out of their seats for President Trump. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia is the exception. He's sitting right in the front, and that's likely not a coincidence. Here he is again applauding Trump's jab at those who kneel for the national anthem, and again after Trump mentions rising wages. It's a re-election year for Manchin, and he's in a state that overwhelmingly voted for Trump. Now he's apparently showing support for a president from the opposing party. Let's go to the other side of the aisle. We repeal the core of the disastrous Obamacare. The individual mandate is now gone. Thank you. Did you catch that? Overwhelming excitement, except for Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. Last summer, Murkowski played a key role to squash efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Working with the Senate, we are appointing judges who will interpret the Constitution as written, including a great new Supreme Court justice. President Trump threw a compliment right at Neil Gorsuch, but he didn't take the bait. In the history of our country. Did you notice who stood? Senator Joe Manchin. But justices must make careful and largely coordinated choices about what statements are uncontroversial enough to warrant applause. We can achieve absolutely anything. America is grieving for you. Kenton Stacy would have died if it were not for Justin's selfless love. Another group that attempts to play it down the middle, the military officials. Like the justices, they must decide what is partisan platitude and what is not. And I will not stop until our veterans are properly taken care of, which has been my promise to them from the very beginning of this great journey. We must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it, but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. Watch as they hesitate. That the coalition to defeat ISIS has liberated very close to 100% of the territory. To clap or not to clap? In a deeply divided Congress, applause or silence can send a powerful message. 